Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Inverted Kings deck from Daniel Madison, Peter McKinnon, and Illusionist.com. What is the Inverted Kings? Uh, a while back, Daniel Madison and Peter McKinnon released a deck uh, that was just called Kings. It was an all gold foil wrapped tuck, and then on the inside, it was white cards with black icons. And so this is the exact opposite. Uh, even though it's a white tuck case, on the inside, there is a black deck with white icons. In 2014, we saw the beginning of the Kings series of playing cards. And when we made the first ever Kings deck of playing cards, we instantly wanted to do an inverted version. So we got these printed at the same time. So the design and the markings are exactly the same, um, but the back's inverted. We turned everything inverted, so black with white icons. And the faces, we kept them white. We made this box I absolutely love that's a really nice white card with gold foil printed on the logo and on the sides. So this is a rare King's deck. We wanted to make these to give to our friends and to make for promotional purposes and then also so that we had them ourselves too. After all the promotions over the past two years, there are now only 1,000 of these decks left. So these are available right now until they're all gone. If you want your chance to complete your Kings collection by having the inverted Kings, don't miss out on the opportunity. Go to illusionist.com right now and have a look for these. The inverted Kings playing cards by Peter McKinnon and me, Daniel Madison. Hi, I'm Daniel Madison. These are the inverted Kings. Front of the tuck case is all simplified. Um, it's pretty much just the king's logo there on the front, which consists of the two weapons of the two kings that Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison represent. And then all the way wrapped around, there pretty much isn't any uh, iconography or words at all, other than on one side it does say think like kings, and the other side says live like kings. The top says Madison and McKinnon, and again you have the king's logo. The bottom has some ad copy about illusionist.com. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on a retail stock and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below in the description. The back of the card is, like I said, it's an inverted deck. So there's a black background with white icons. And then the icon is a crossed sword and a crossed ax, which are the weapons of the kings in the deck. Uh, and it is a reader back deck, as was the previous King's deck, and so if you uh, purchase this deck, you'll find information on how to read the backs so that you will be able to identify what card is on the face. This card is a Ten of Diamonds, right? Okay. With this deck, your two jokers are the symbols of Peter McKinnon and Daniel Madison. Uh, the sword is Peter McKinnon and the axe is Daniel Madison. They are the weapons that their kings hold in this deck. Also with this deck, you'll get a double backer, which is great for magic tricks. And also with this deck, you'll get an Angle Z card. Angle Z is a magic trick that Daniel Madison created. Um, and this card is in and included with a lot of other uh, Daniel Madison decks. And so uh, if you're familiar with the trick, you'll get one of these cards. Everybody always asks how the cards feel, how they handle, how they perform. Uh, if you really want to know the answers to those questions, you can click a link below in the description and it'll take you to a website that'll show you um, where this deck falls in comparison with other decks. Uh, when you measure this deck, it kind of has a middle of the road feel to it. So it's not exactly a casino deck thickness and it's not exactly a buttery, smooth, soft deck either. So it's kind of in the middle. Um, it's really close to a standard deck of rider backs. So where a standard deck of rider backs would fall, this is about where they fall. This deck of the Inverted Kings also has a very chemical smell to it. And so sometimes that's indicative of performance coating or magic finish, okay? And sometimes Illusionist will put magic finish on their decks that have a lot of ink saturation. The back of this has a lot of black. And so sometimes that can lead to chipping. If you don't know what chipping is, chipping is when you shuffle your cards end to end and the ends start to get that little flex of white. 
And so the Magic Finish kind of locks in that color a little bit, helps the deck to perform better and also slide better. Uh, so it's very possible that this deck has Magic Finish. Also, when you take these cards straight out of the box, you're gonna notice that they're not in new deck order. They are actually in a Mnemonica stack. And so this will only benefit you if you are going to go from a unopened deck straight into a magic trick, okay? And why you would do that would be is that you would know the order of the deck before the deck is open. You're gonna give the deck a false shuffle and a false cut and make the spectator believe that the cards are mixed but you'll be able to go into a magic trick where you will instantly know where all the cards are and where they fall in the stack because it's in a stacked order. Your ace of spades is gonna be the king's um, ace that is like a big fat chunky pip that's been split apart and at the bottom it says think like kings. All the pips and indice cards are completely standard. However, I would think that the red uh, suits are just a little darker. So the red coloring I think are just a little more muted, a little bit more dull. Your court cards are uh, Madison courts, so that means that uh, it's Daniel Madison, Peter McKinnon, uh, and a couple of their girlfriends and best friends and fellow magicians uh, emblazed across the front of several of the faces of the courts. However, there are a couple of courts that are standard and would be recognizable to anyone. All right, so that is my review of the Inverted Kings from Illusionist.com, Peter McKinnon, and Daniel Madison. If you'd like to purchase your own, you can find it right now at Illusionist.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, please do. I'm at Facebook.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Twitter.com slash Magic Orthodoxy, Instagram.com slash Magic underscore Orthodoxy. And if you need more content than that, you can always find it at MagicOrthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.